Exposition. Exposition is a new show on RGCA TV 17, which it may have moved from TV 17 to like 92 or something on the digital channel. Anyway, Exposition is going to be a monthly program here on RGCA, and we're going to feature uh, artists, artisans, performance artists, and different things. Uh, probably mainly around the Gowdy County area and the French Art Colony. And with me is Valerie Thomas, and you are a local artist and manager of the Gowdy County Artisan Shop. Mm -hmm. And she will be the co-host for this little program. And today we are featuring the French Art Colony, uh, Lucia Jones, program coordinator with the French Art Colony. Yep. Thank you for having me. Thank you okay. for coming. <laughs> what do you? What do you? See, what is your uh, uh, job as program coordinator? What do you do? Well, I help uh, set up and run the different programs. We have lots of classes we offer, theater productions and things like that. So I set those up and have local artists come in to teach. What kind of programs do you have? We have. Let's see. What do we have offered right now? We have. We actually have an acrylic painting class with the lovely Valerie here. Uh, we have <laughs> sewing classes. We have piano lessons, guitar, yoga. Mm. Yeah, we have yoga. Really? Oh, great! And I think dance classes are starting up soon for the little ones. Those and then you also have uh, theater productions. Yes, with the Riverby Theater Guild. Okay, is that part of the French Art Colony? Yes, it's part of the French Art Colony. The Riverby Theater Guild began. Um, in 2010, we started doing productions in 2010 with the Riverby Theater Guild, and for the past two years, we have had we have stories to stage, which um, that allows us to take productions to the schools free of charge through our um, National Endowment for the Arts grant. That's wonderful. What kind of uh, productions do you have? Coming up in 2015, we have Alice in Wonderland, which we will have auditions for that in March. And that will perform in May, and then any later, prior experience necessary? None whatsoever. Anybody is welcome. Okay. I'm taking pre-K through age 18 for auditions oh. for that performance. Okay. And then uh, Po Po Po, that will be Edgar Allan Poe stories. That will happen later in the fall. Okay, more around the Halloween time. I yes, suppose. Halloween time. And where do you do these performances? We perform, and um, all of the local schools are invited to come participate. Alice in Wonderland will be for grades um, kindergarten through fifth grade, and Po 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 will be junior high and high school. But where would you see these? Or are they at uh, we take university? some of them to the schools usually. Okay. And sometimes we actually we have them at Rio here, mm -hmm. and the schools bus in to see okay. the performances, and everything's free. Excellent. And then the Riverby Theater Guild, that's, that's yes, different. Yes, we have, we have productions coming up. We have 12, 12 Angry Men, mm -hmm. which will be performing but, um, February 13th, 14th, and 15th. And have you had auditions for that or not? That, has, that is already in production. Rah, I'm mad. <laughs> we would have loved what? to have had you come out for those. I can be mad and angry. Cool. <laughs> and? <laughs> And then Steel Magnolias, our auditions for that are, let me think, those are coming up in February, actually. So if you're interested in Steel Magnolias, <gasps> ladies, La come oh, on Ladies. Out. Ladies. <laughs> well, I don't, we could probably use you. We have wigs. You make it work. Might have to shave, Mike. <laughs> yeah, but maybe. Yeah. <laughs> um, so I think February 17th. I can see. I believe February 17th we have auditions. Double check. I'm looking right here. What's that for? Oh, Steel, Steel Magnolias. Magnolias. February 15th and February 17th at 6 p.m. And that will be at the Riverby Theater Guild studio space, uh, 59 Court Street. Court Street. Yes. Okay. And then um, Theater Mayhem. That's in Gallup Police, Ohio. Yes. Gallup Police. Yes. This is for children um, ages. Is? Theater, the theater Mayhem. mayhem. Theater Mayhem. Mm -hmm. It's an acting, kind of acting after school camp for okay. the older kids that, that don't audition for the younger kids' shows anymore. 
but um, that'll be held at the theater space, and Joseph Wright will be directing that. And that's on Court Street. It's on Court Street. Court Street. Three dollars per class you pay per session. And is, that's ongoing January 6th through March 5th per class? Per class, yes. And okay. um, can they just show up any uh, um, thir Tuesday or Thursday? Tuesdays or? and Thursdays. And, and ages 9 to 15, but if you call the French Art Colony, sometimes there's a little leeway with the age. We can just call in. Maybe I can sneak in there. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> yes, we all up. could. I'm young at heart. <laughs> <laughs> and then um, anything else going on with the Theater Guild or the um, performances? I think you covered all I think that. I covered all the current okay. productions. You have um, some dance classes coming up that you're partnering with the Jeslin Performing Arts Center in Huntington? Yes. And... and you contact the Performing Arts Center for to reserve spots for the classes. Okay. But those are on Wednesdays. We have different times for different age groups. We have Mini Movers, and that's a mommy and me class for 18 months to three years. Uh, Mini Movers 2, that's ages three to five, and American Ballet and Theater Technique for six to eight, and Modern for six to eight years of age. Who's teaching those? Um, it is Jessica Lynn Fox and uh, Maggie Jackson. Mm -hmm. Okay, and those are dance classes? Yes, dance yeah, classes. And those are held on Court Street? No, those are at the French Art Colony. Okay, at Riverby. On Wednesday evenings beginning this month? Yes, beginning this month. Great. So call and sign up. Yes, and the Jeslin Performing Arts Center. How much was Center? that? Uh, we don't have the pricing on that because they're independently booking, so okay. you have to contact the contact Jeslin Arts them. Center at 304-697-0602. Great. Okay. And then, um, like you said, there's other classes at the French Art Colony. There's going to be an intro to sewing with Cheryl Enyard. Yes. And those classes are on? Those classes are on Thursdays and oh, Fridays. Yeah. She has a youth class on Thursday and an adult class on Friday. Okay. And I believe she is booked for those, but she will be having another session after this one. Great. You know, so if you're interested, uh, call the French Art Colony. Is that? Like machine sewing or yeah. is that hand sewing? It's machine sewing. She has she has a limited class. Okay. Do you need your own? Machine no, she provides the the machine. One and machine. No, there are five. Oh, okay. She has spots for five people, and then she'll do a six week session with them, and then she'll move on and do a six week session in okay. the spring. That's great. Um, I know Kelsey tried to sign up for the adult class and oh, she yes. couldn't get in because they were filled up already. So we'll maybe have next another session. session. Yes. yes, Kelsey. We can put your name in. We're putting your name in. And um, Mike, are you interested? I'll pass on that one. All right, so fine. Okay. okay. <laughs> and then yoga. I know that's a, that's a wonder, that's Monday? Monday nights. Mon okay. Monday nights and um, what? How long age? does that last? She usually does six weeks as well. And I mean, this is half an hour, hour, hour and a half? It's, a, it's about an hour okay. of yoga. And it's not like hot yoga, is it? No. I think hot. she has a beginning yoga class. Okay. And then she has the regular yoga class because she has a beginner's yoga, I think, from 4.30 to 5.30. So if you can't quite touch your to toes, then you want to get into the beginner's yoga. Possibly, class. yes. Okay. What's hot yoga? That's where it's almost like a sauna, and you just no, sweat and do that. that at the same time. That's not good. <laughs> okay. It's it's a new fad. <laughs> so you can take a yoga class on Mondays. And yes. then Barb White teaches piano. Yes. Is that a certain night of the week? No, or? she books independently as well. You can call the French Art Colony for details, but she books independently. She has classes throughout the week and on the weekends. Okay. And so does Ryan for the guitar. Ryan Duffy teaches guitar at the French Art Colony. So um, there's just a wide variety of just about anything you want to do. Yeah. And Seems like take a real lessons. nice hub of activity down there. It's wonderful. Yeah. And yeah. speaking of hub of activity, um, we wanted to mention that Lucy got married there yes, I did. last summer. And um, I had my wedding reception there 
and Kelsey Irish danced for my wedding reception there. Mm -hmm. And I grew up there. Mm -hmm. I climbed the trees there. They have memorial gardens. Nice. Um, my father, for one, uh, has a bench there that's going to be dedicated soon. <laughs> Yay! So we'll have Hi a dedication Betty. ceremony and lots of other very prominent, important people in the community um, have memorial bushes and trees and benches yes. and um, there's a, a lovely water garden with little goldfish in it and Very they live helpful. there all year. They had survived the winters. Mm -hmm. yes. Amazing. Yes. I, don't, I wouldn't want to be a goldfish about now. I don't no. think so. <laughs> I, don't, I, just, I don't know how they do it. They're pretty amazing. Mm -hmm. um, and also uh, my sister just had a class reunion there and um, there's other events and yeah, things. We book all kinds of events and receptions. It's a real nice these. place to uh, nice. have a wedding at. I've done several, you know, photography and videography there, and you can get some nice pictures there. There's lots of opportunities for, for nice photos. That's beautiful. And you can have an indoor wedding or an outdoor wedding. Of course, I got married in the summer, so it was outdoors in mm -hmm. the gardens. And I think that's beautiful. the best. It was I really beautiful. liked that. Yes, wonderful. And let's see, we, um, just to, to go back a little bit, I wanted to touch on the, the history of um, what they call Riverby. The French art colony was originally called Riverby, and it was the actual building structure itself uh, was built in 1855. And um, it was purchased by Dr. Charles E. Holzer Sr. And from the Needhams in 1918, and Mrs. Holzer named it Riverby that she had found from a book called A Journey Down, Down the River by the naturalist John Burroughs. So that's how it got its name, Riverby. And um, the French art colony, the art and cultural center that it is, started in 1964. And it's on First Avenue, 531st Avenue, and it originally began as an oil painting class um, with a local furniture maker, Raymond Hoy, and then he um, enlisted other people in the community that were interested in the arts, and they formed a group, and they decided to call it the French Art Colony, and um, the Thalers and um, Peggy Evans and Jan Thaler and um, all kinds of uh, our, our local uh, community leaders were involved to get this all started. And the Ohio Arts Council formed in 1965 also became a part of the life and planning process for the French art colony. Um, I used to take uh, oil painting classes down there in the late 70s and early 80s. Did you? Did think you for about enjoy four them? Or five years. Yeah. Who was your teacher? I think Mrs. Brim. Mrs. I don't Brim. Know who that is? I don't remember. Okay. I don't remember who my art teacher was at the French Art Colony. I just remember drawing and painting, mm -hmm. and I just remember practically living there <laughs> a lot of my childhood. Mm -hmm. um, so. Uh, in 1970, I guess, the members were looking for a building to put the French Art Colony Community Cultural Arts uh, Center. And um, so Dr. Thaler, at that Dr. Donald Thaler at the time asked Dr. Charles E. Holzer, Jr. And Dr. Charles E. Holzer, Jr. said, what about my mom's house? Right. So Riverby became the French Art Colony. and. Um, it, it goes by both names to this day, um, but it's remained a, a vital part of our community, especially our arts and culture, yes. and that's what we want to promote and we want to have people involved and um, anything that you want to do arts and culturally, you can yeah, do I think the we French Art Colony. are the, the only multi-arts center because we have performing arts and visual arts available. Yes. The spectrum. Yes. Everything. Yes, we covered the spectrum. Okay, so I know that you uh, brought in a video. Yes, is it time? It's time. It probably is time to show it's the video. It's time to show that so video. So what's in the video? The video, Kelsey, it's, the, it's a collection of photos and pictures of um, 
all kinds of different events that have happened at the, the French Art Colony, including shows, exhibits. Um, there's, uh, we have some pictures from the Gal Police Garden and Tasting Tour that happened last summer. Um, they're going to have that again this summer. I'm not sure the, the date. June 20th. June 20th. Yeah. You just are. Where were they tasting? Mm -hmm. You uh, wouldn't believe. Area restaurants mm. bring in delicacies and wines okay. and deliciousness. Mm -hmm. This at past each garden summer? Yeah. Has someone different. And they're this like summer we, we incorporated something new. We had actual artists in the gardens painting live, and then we auctioned off the paintings at the end. Of the tour. Okay, so this is sort of a uh, a compilation montage of montage. photos. Yes. Okay. Yes, it is. Do we want to go ahead and run that little video? Here we go.
Sure. Kind of entertaining. Yes. Seen some dragons, seen some Dragon activities. Yes. Hopefully that whetted your appetite to uh, come down. Especially for the, uh, well, shoot, all of it. All of it, yeah. We've got this the coming hot, up. Hot summer music. nights and the theater and classes and everything. Schedule your wedding, your reception, your reunions, your dinner parties, uh, do you, everything and anything. You don't have the tents, do you? Because usually when I see weddings over there, there's tents set up. Do you have well, to schedule we, that with someone else? We have some tents, but we don't have the wedding tents. You rent those elsewhere okay. and bring them. You have the contacts if you were to yes, contact Yes, we have you. a whole Rolodex full of contacts for caterers, tent rental, anything. Okay. It's awesome. Are there any restrictions? Uh, there are some limitations on guests, but... You Number just, of guests? Right, but you can call the French Art Colony and speak with the lovely Jenny. She coordinates okay. all of our rentals. She's wonderful at that. And she'll talk you through the entire process. And there's a nice staircase inside for, you know, if you're Beautiful. a bride and want to take a picture on a nice... Oh, gosh, I had yeah. a picture. ...twisting staircase. Yeah, the, yeah, nice. the staircase picture is always great for weddings. Oh. It's very small, it's, yeah, but we can't get that. We can't get that. That's that but it's But thank you, Betsy, for providing these pictures for us that we can refer to at least. And gosh, there's a whole, if you go to the website, there's all kinds of history what's, to read what's about. What's the website? It's the uh, www.frenchartcolony.org. And okay. the phone number is? 740-446-3834. So 740-446-3834. And the website is www, which most people oh, know right, that. Oh, everybody knows that. Uh, .frenchart colony all one word doesn't you know all lowercase dot org like organization awesome this is a wonderful place to go be do anything you want basically within legal limits <laughs> okay <laughs> all right so uh this is the first episode of exposition we've probably got uh, three more minutes or so what else can you uh, look forward to seeing on this show every month? Um, Who are you dragging in here? <laughs> <laughs> well, Kelsey, some, my daughter. Some artists don't like to be on camera. Kelsey, my daughter, uh, the a co co host, okay. um, will be uh, with us uh, next time, most likely. Uh, but she's our Talking techie. About cutting the rug. Yeah, cut Irish, the yes. Irish style. Irish style. But we will try to be bringing um, on guests that will be promoting local cultural, culture and arts, if they're local artisans or performers, or um, we're going to try to line up. I think we have three more shows. Is that through April or no? As long as on you want on to. Honest, we want to keep it going. Sure. Great. We'll, we'll line if, them and up. And if it's possible, maybe we could have some... Uh, Demonstrations. Demo. We can. Yes. We can. Demo. We can hook that up. And Absolutely. That. And um, may I mention that the Gallia County Artisan Market is going to be putting on the first annual St. Patrick's Day Cultural Parade, and we have a whole list of people we would love to invite. But if you're interested, please contact. Um, you can call me at 740-853-2364 or go that. to our website, 740-853-2364. Okay. And what's the date for this, do you know? Um, the date is going to be March 14th. It's Saturday at 1 o'clock. Okay. And, um, and where are they going to parade? I would imagine down 2nd Avenue, Gal Police, Ohio. Okay. Yes. And then it ends, and is there some sort of a at the end of it or well, is it just march down the street you're done we're, we're we are going to have the artisan market and the shop open and they're welcome to come uh do some more artsy stuff and uh, hang out okay yeah sounds like fun yes all right so that's all we have for this week on exposition thank you thanks for, thank you for so being much here. lucia for being here today thank you mike for having us not a problem and we'll see you in about a month. And cool. next week will be another show of a different sort. 